y'all. Welcome to Art of the Budget. My name is Nicole. My pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on the traditional unceded territory of the Coast Salish Nations. And today is Saturday. It's the freaking weekend, so it's time to check in on our budget together. Um, if you're new here, I use an app called Every Dollar. It is a Dave Ramsey app, and though I don't follow his plan at all. In fact, he would hate everything I do, I think. Um, but it's a free app and it works really well for the way that I do my budget. Um, and if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. If you enjoy this type of thing and you haven't yet, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy this video, I would love it if you would like it. Um, let's go ahead and get into the transactions. Um, I just went through my bank uh, my banks, my banks, I have so many banks, and just made sure that I had all the transactions for this month, and I had a couple extra that I needed to add in. It's been kind of a wild month. Um, well, it's been a long month. For the purposes of my budget, there were five weeks, and I, a um, couple of things. I feel like I have just been distracted and haven't like had my budget on the forefront of my brain like it normally is, which in some ways is maybe good, but I definitely see that I've got a lot of red and I think I'm gonna have a little more by the time I'm done <laughs> with this week's check-in. Um, but, you know, it's a good thing to remember, like this is why we have a budget I personally do an every dollar budget. Obviously, there's lots of different types of budgets and, you know, we should all do what works for us. But having this budget, this helps me have a guideline. So even if I do mess up or I go over, I know that I'm not going to go too far off, too far off um, or, you know, run out of money. Of course, budgeting for all of this time has meant that I have a cushion, I have a backup, which is not something I had previously in my adult life. So, you know, mess ups are fine. Like, you know, not having things be perfect is fine. It's mm -hmm. the progress and the, the participation that matters um, and just keep keeping up with these things. So that's what I'm telling myself today. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's see, while we're up here, um, in sharing an art, I bought a cup um, from a friend of mine, another local artist. Um, they had organized a cup show. I also showed in it, and I bought uh, their cup. It was really cool. I should have, I should show you, but it's um, over there. I'll put a picture in right now. All right, so that beautiful cup was thirty-five dollars. And I'm going to put that into 2% for art. Okay. I have a lot of transactions. Let's see. Household. Already over. Oh, everything is over. It's cool. Everything's cool. All right. Well, that's fine. I bought uh, two big, like, gallons of Dawn from Amazon. I don't love Amazon. And I'm actually, like, really thinking about joining Costco. But I needed dish soap. And I think you guys know I'm, like, one of those people where I stockpile things like dish soap and toilet paper. I just hate worrying about running out of them. And so um, I don't think I have a, a ridiculous stockpile. But, like, um, I mean, I'm only one person. But I like having plenty. So that was $14.86. That will last a long time, and I'm very pleased with it. And I'm going to put that in household. I feel like I put such random stuff in household. Um, I also got from Amazon, I don't know why it came through in two transactions, but whatever, um, a pill container for my cat Junior's 8 million pills um, and uh, some moisturizer because I was like, well, if I'm already buying these things online, I might as well just buy this moisturizer for my face. So that was $24.57, which feels expensive for two things. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that. That's going to go in, can that go in household too? <laughs> sure, why not? All right, I paid the electric bill, or you know, it paid itself. That stuff is all automatic. That was $35.05. Um, I made another trip to the grocery store, which, am I actually not over on groceries? How is that even possible? I mean, I'll take it. Uh, I got my second vaccine on Thursday, and um, 
And on, I, I got it at the grocery store at the pharmacy and I went ahead and grabbed stuff because I had all this stuff in the freezer, but I had not taken it out. So I grabbed stuff to make chicken soup. Um, well, I mean, I got chicken and I got some Reese's peanut butter cups and some coconut water. I don't know. That just seemed like a thing to have if you were sick. And I'm glad I did because um, I made chicken soup as soon as I got home, chicken and rice soup, which turned out like super good. Um, and... I had a fever and was just out all day Friday. I worked for about two hours and then just uh, emailed my boss and was like, I'm clocking out sick. And I just had a fever and was sick all day. But I will say it wasn't the, too terrible. I mean, my brain wasn't working great, but I just slept all day and I took at my mom's advice, uh, extra strength, the acetaminophen every few hours and it really helped a lot when I started to feel like really feel bad I would just take more acetaminophen and that relieved the discomfort quite a bit so I just slept all day Saturday now I'm feeling much better um all right so um that was 3440 wow got lost in the storytelling 3440 and that goes into groceries and it looks like I'm actually not over in groceries so that gave me one area that is not red um, I paid my car insurance where do I keep that that was 8657 sometimes it goes through and sometimes I forgot to to like say it in one of these check-ins but I always add it at the end of the month before I do my reconciliation um, all right while we're down here let's do cat stuff I got Junior some medicine, that was $24.05. If you don't know, Junior is on like 10 different medicines. Um, I also took Violet to have a recheck at the specialist, refilled some medicine, and got some tests done and all together that was $187.33. So that goes into cat fund. I love this number here, still over $1,000 hanging out in the cat fund. <sighs> It really helps me feel um, relaxed and not so stressed out. Um, I recently got word that after three years of living in the house I live, I rent, um, we've always had someone do the lawn. And like anytime I ever tried to like plant anything, he would always just like mow it down. But anyway, we just got noticed that we are required to take care of our lawn. And so we hired a local youth to do that for us and my part of that so i have a neighbor who lives downstairs also a good friend um my part of that was twenty dollars and where would this go i guess this would go in household really getting a i'm really abusing this household category <laughs> this month um all right paycheck two came through and oh you know this is interesting because of like the the because of COVID, because of just, I don't know, wildness, um, we had a two-week spring break, and that meant that I was off contract for two weeks. So my paycheck is uh, only $1,524.19, um, meaning like there's no adjunct pay on it, and that's totally fine, um, but that is different than usual. So I will have to actually adjust next month normally I mean, the contract is the same length, so I assume that it will come out in the wash eventually, but um, I usually plan to make the same amount through all of the spring months um, because I didn't used to go off contract for a whole pay period. Does that make sense? So anyway, I'm always one month ahead, so this is money I earned in April, but I will spend in May, and I will have to adjust my May budget to... Um, be less, kind of like my January budget was. So that's $1,524.19, and that goes into the next month category. All right, last, oh, well, we're at it. I've got one more income. That was my interest, and it was four seventy. dollars So, hey, that's pretty cool. It's a little more than I had anticipated. I think this was just like March's number. Um, I had a bunch of money moving around because I was closing one bank account and opening another, which if anyone who is interested, I had Simple, the best bank app there ever was and ever will be, I think. And I ended up switching to 
um, Capital One 360 and basically just opening a bunch of savings accounts. And it is a really nice interface. Um, I use it on my computer. I don't use it on my phone the way I did with Simple, which was what one of the things that was so lovely about it. But I can see everything and I like that. Um, but I have been hearing that there's a new thing. They actually have been sending me ads. They dub themselves like the new Simple and it's called One Finance. So if anyone has used that or knows anything about it, let me know. I doubt I'll delve into it. I've already kind of gone the, the Capital One 360 way, but I'm curious. I'm curious. Um, okay, so April interest was 470, which is pretty cool. And then last but not least, I have a stash account. I have had the stash account and I actually never, this is really bad. I never record this dollar. So next month, I'm going to record it for April and I'm going to put that in fun money. And next month, I'm going to figure out how many months I haven't recorded it for and I'm going to add it to fun money. So yeah, um, okay, that's it for me. That was my month. Let me know how down, down below how you're doing. Um, I hope that you had a slightly less wild month than me. I hope that you are soon going to be vaccinated um, and I hope you're doing well. I'll see you in the next video.